it's something that is uh it's crazy it's crazy you know i mean you spend more time trying to focus on the goal and what you have to do you don't actually stop to like take it all on board because i remember the other day i think Dennis james asked me going like you do realize it's like your second Mr. Olympia and you already been talked about to be one of the top three to win. He goes, how does that feel? And I just stopped and said, yeah, it's another thing that you don't, it's crazy. It's crazy when you put it that way, but you're so focused on just completing the goal and achieving it that you actually don't take the time to say, you know what, just the fact that you're in this position already is already something that is unique, something that hasn't been done before. So yeah, you know, you don't, I think when it's over, then I will come back and reflect on it. But when it's happening and you're just so focused on what you need to do that's in front of you, so you don't really think about it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Samson Pauda. Man, you know what? Because like I've been saying like the last few days, man, especially this week, where I've been finding it even hard to sleep, because the same thing runs through my mind, you know, I break down every single aspect of everything, everything that I need to do, everything I need to do on stage, every, every moment of it between now and then, I break down everything and it just goes over and over. So most of the time I'm probably, I'm awake before my, the clock actually wakes me up to do cardio. Most of the time I'm, I'm laying in bed looking, going, okay, I got 30 minutes, I got to get up and go do cardio in a minute. And it's like 6 a.m. in the morning, I'm wide awake, ready to go, and I'm egging to go, and it's got this hunger there. And I jump on that cardio machine and it's like, okay, here we go, time to work. And you constantly, you know, you're doing this whole thing for hours, like doing all the cardio, and you just, you just concentrate, and you concentrate on everything. Why you're feeling what you're doing, why you're doing what you're doing, and why, what you want to achieve. And it just makes me hungry, man, you know. I started out watching motivational videos, you know, I've, I've been following Mike Tyson this year, and just his mentality when he, you know, when it was at his prime. And that ferocious idea of going after something and believing without any doubt that you're going to get it is that mentality that's just overwhelming me right in now. In terms of like look, physique, presentation, what we're bringing to the stage, I'm, I've never been so confident. You know, I'm, I just, I've never felt this confident going in the show, man. Even the Arnold, this one, uh, you see the results and you just think, wow. In the next show, even when I take a break, I'm still using it as a growth phase. I'm still growing. I'm still trying to eat the same food, eat as much food as I can to get my body to grow. When it comes to a proper off season, you know, some guys they understand the off season as being off. Like, okay, off that means I don't have to trade every day. I don't have to eat the scheduled meals. I don't have to do, you know, all the things I have to do to be a pro, but I can take some time and you know, go on holiday and stuff like that. I don't work that way. My off season is exactly the same mentality as my prep. All it is, all it, the only difference is I get more food. Mm. Everything is precise to schedule all year round. Mm. Meals, bang on, schedule all year round. Everything all year round. If I got pushing heavy calories, it's like clockwork. So when I do have off season, I understand I'm trying to grow this physique. Mm. And that's all my focus is. Yes, I still have time with my family, I still do all that, but guess what, I still gotta train, I still gotta eat my meals, and I take it with me, and I find a way because I think maybe this is something that came from when I was always working full time. I learned to schedule my day precisely. Mm. So when I finally got to do this all the, as my main, my main job, it was easy for me to say, okay, well, this is this, you've got a lot more time to yourself now. Now put all your focus on this and it's been to a schedule. So for me, you know, having those times after a show, the off season, the pre-show, all that, is about growing. And that's why the majority of my time, I always change so drastically in a very short time. Yeah. And, uh, 
It's not a secret, man. I'm just open-minded. I, I I adapt. I learn. I'm, I don't come on, man. I'm a, I'm a young gun. I'm starting this thing. I didn't start bodybuilding too long ago. And I started. The first thing I did when I started bodybuilding was shut your mouth and listen. Don't try to give your opinion. Don't try to say, oh, I read a book that said this, or I, I, this guy said that. When you're in presence of anybody that knows more than you do, or I've done this more than you do, zip it and listen. Pick out what tips you can from it. So. Samson was the winner. I think he's dramatically improved. Now, what it lands on the Olympia stage is the big question. I went the whole, since the Arnold stage, we got the Arnold stage at this point. I went all year, doing this one single minute, doing this one single training session. They didn't miss anything, we stayed exactly to plan all through, even when we were traveling around the world. Everything was planned on up to this point, and we see the results of it. Chris Kirillis, last year he was going into the Olympia, he wanted to make a top 10, and top six, six was a dream. Uh, after that, when, if he would talk about 2023 Olympia, we would sign up for top three to move up, right? But uh, along the way, winning the Arnold Classic and seeing what his physique looked like and comparing himself, can he be Hardy? Of course he can. Can he be Derek? Of course he can. It's not like, uh, and so when you have that potential, you grind and he grinded. He didn't miss a meal. He didn't miss a workout in a minute of the, of the cardio. So it's guys are just genetic marbles, man. What do be your lifestyle, man? We don't bother you depending on the weather. We do it all year round. Oh, well, that's what it takes. Let's go get the barbecue ready. This is going to be, uh, I, I mean, I think Samson, I would probably choose him right now to win that battle this year, but that doesn't mean it's forever. <laughs>